Good morning, are you out there? This is Mark with Redo Over, as always. Um, yeah, we're doing some Halloween themed Rotwick campaign stuff. Uh, Vianwa, one of the, the guys that comments, was, was asking about Halloween stuff. So I did the special, Halloween special on Friday in a costume. And then we're just getting through the Rotwick campaign stuff right now. So, um, let's grab ourselves a hero. I've been looking at these, trying to prepare. Um, Ignis. Let's burn. Let's burn. Oh, dude. Ignis is a damage dealer. I gotta tell you what. <laughs> he doesn't wear pants, but he deals some serious damage. So, it's trade-offs in life. Yeah? Goods and bads. Uh, here we go. Castle Blackburn. Heroic. Yeah. The battle. Um, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> this was tough. I actually played this one quite a few times. So, okay, this one I tried with like four different heroes. I tried King Denos. I tried Alora. I don't think I tried Oni. I think I tried Ingvar Bearclaw. Ignis is the trick. So, for instance, like King Denos. In here, uh, this has Fallen Knights, Spectral Knights, and those are really tough because Spectral Knights are immune to physical damage, and Fallen Knights have high resistance to magic, so you really got to get a mix. So I'm thinking, oh, you know, King Denos, he's a high damage dealer. Um, he can't hurt the Spectral Knights. So I'm in there just like all frustrated. I'm just like, man, what? I got King Denos up here and the Mage Towers. I can't. No, he did no, like, he wasn't doing anything to him. Um, whereas, like, Magnus Spellbane could do it, but then he wasn't so good against, like, uh, like zombies and skeletons. So, Ignis is the right mix. He's fast, because you, you do need to move him around quite a bit on this uh, stage. Uh, you'll see. So, it, at any rate, I did I did work on this pretty, pretty good, admittedly. Um, so, first thing we need magic. okay i kind of broke it up like this i was doing mage towers up here because you have spectral knights coming through this area and only mage towers are going to affect them you have spectral knights and fallen knights coming from this side however you can handle the spectral knights when they get to here but you cannot handle the fallen knights when they get over to the side of the screen so you need mundane damage over here so i was doing archer towers and like artillery because artillery is mundane damage and you get a lot of skeletons and mass waves coming through here so it's like a trade-off thing so that's like the three quadrants we're going to work with is magic archers artillery pieces and then we do need a couple of um barracks we'll get to i was doing some barracks over here so just follow along with that as best you can again i don't have this all perfected or anything and then ignis we're going to send in. He's powerful enough and fast enough to where we can take out the skeletons, have him take out the knights, have him take out the spectrals, go. So we'll just bounce them around as we need to. And in general, stop the guys that are here, that are getting towards your goal, that are threatening the most. Take them out. Because these skeletal knights and the ghosts in general are slow, and the zombies are slow. Skeletons, whatever. So you have, if they're over here and the, you're not really slowing them down, let them last longer. Take these guys out, then send Ign Ignis over. So that's the battle plan. I know I'm being a little bit explanatory in this, but I probably played this 12 or 15 times. It, it was really struggling. It was hard, but with this method, um, you know, hopefully you can make up your own plan. You know, you don't have to use my plan, but um, let's see. Let's let's do like this. Let's take that up all the way. Another mage tower here. And magic. Eh. Yeah. So mage towers, and I so said we'll get the archer towers in here when we've got the money. This will soften up the skelly. So let's send Ignis. Um, I gotta read fire too. Let's see here. Let's start Ignis Let's down burn. here, and then we'll start this up. We'll put our reinforcements up here. And actually, I'm just gonna bring down that rain of fire right off the bat. Ignis is going to level up quickly down here, too, which will be nice. Um, you see that mage tower just incinerated the ghost. So they're handled. Simple. 
I gotta turn this down a little bit so I can hear hear myself talk. I gotta hear myself talk. This is my favorite part of the game. <laughs> uh, come on, come on, Mage Tower. Oh god, yeah, that just worked. Okay, um, I'm gonna use my reinforcements here to slow these guys down. Ignis is just um, terminating these ghosty ghosts. Come on, Ignis. Beat the heck out of these guys. Here we go. Let's put in... I actually... Come on, Ignis. Take him out. Come on. Ooh, Ignis, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Uh, there we go. Reinforcement slowing them up. You see this is working, though, in general. Um, oh, yeah, and here, let's get our archers going. Archer. Uh, we'll keep slowing them up. So you see, as long as we can take out the skellies on time... Oh, here, I'll drop a rain of fire. I've got it. Might as well use it. Because once they're converted to ghosts, it's not nearly a problem, right? And let's do another archer tower. And let's do another barracks. Yeah, right there. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what we need now. Here, let's, let's put our reinforcements here. And let's send Ignis in to take them on. This is wave two of six. It's kind of getting started. So we're going to get these guys converted. We're converting Spectral Knights. Fallen Knights to Spectral Knights. Knights to ghosts. We're killing them. We're releasing their ghosts. So we can kill the ghosts. What you got to do. Um, and I don't want Ignis to die, so I will withdraw him and let him recover real quickly here. But yeah, you could see this is doing a good job here. These mage towers are softening these guys up. Um, and I see I've got a rain of fire coming. I'm going to hold off on it, though. I want to see if we can take these guys out and get these guys converted properly. Converted. <laughs> um, I want the, See, I want the ghosts to go through, though. Our mage tower can handle the ghosts. We want to convert these guys. Here. And then let's bring down the rain of fire and convert those guys. <laughs> I know it's really stupid when I keep saying that, but it's hilarious. This is what we're doing. We're converting the living to the dead. Their specialty. It's Kingdom Rush. It is literally the name of the game, folks. It is <laughs> convert the living to the dead. Um, gosh, these guys are coming through. But Ignis can hurt the ghosts. And the ghosts aren't that tough. That's the thing that you got to remember. The ghosts aren't actually... Uh, what do they have? 480 hit points. They're not that tough. Ignis is already the tier 6. This is only the second wave. So that's how much death dealing this guy does. He got 6 levels in 2 waves. That's insane. So he'll max out here in no time, I'm sure. Um, so we're going to put Ignis up front because Ignis cannot be turned into a werewolf. And you guys know how bad that can get with the werewolves um, jacking our play up. And then we'll have our reinforcements here. And we have the rain of fire if we need it. We don't want anyone getting through on us here. Oh shit, Ignis went down. That is probably not good. I shouldn't have let him die. I was not focused, to be, to be quite honest. I wasn't paying attention. I need Ignis back or we might lose this. Okay, get in there. Get in there, big boy. Because what we don't want is we don't want uh, werewolves specifically coming up. Come on, Ignis. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't die. Oh god, I gotta pull him out. I can't afford to have him die. I don't want another werewolf, though. That's a pain in the ass. Oh! Alright, so that was the, the hard... That was my sticking point in the past, to be really honest. Okay, so at this point... I didn't even see what's coming. Um, okay, let's send Ignis in and just tear these guys up. We're going to tear these guys new in. Let's so I'm increasing the Mage Towers through this area because the Spectral Knights either come through here or through here. So by putting the... stacking all the... Um, <laughs> stacking the Mage Towers through here works very effectively. These are just werewolves, not lichens. Lichens are the ones that turn your defenders into into werewolves. Um, 
Werewolves do not turn your defenders into werewolves, so they're less dangerous in that sense. So let's improve these guys just to make them more survivable. You can see Ignis is tearing these skellies apart, but let's get them down here now where we need them. Bear in mind, werewolves do regenerate their health, though. So if you let them linger, they're just going to keep bringing their health back. Um, I'm going to bring down the Reign of Fire on the Skeleton Knights up here, because they are tough to take out. There's so many hit points. Um, and then, yeah, let's get... Uh, we'll start working on these Archer Towers, get them beefed up a little bit. I probably don't need to even get these artillery to Tesla coils. It, it probably won't even be necessary, to be quite honest. Alright. The Mage Tower is tearing up the skeleton. He's really good. And then Ignis here is level 8, making his way towards level 9. So he, you see him just fighting through like a madman. Literally, the guy's living fire. He's insane. There we go, he's almost at level 9. Boom, he's level 9. Heck yes. And of course that just makes him that much tougher. Let's see where he's at. At level 9, he's got 640 hit points, no armor, does 30 to 50 damage. Um, I believe someone made the comment once um, on my channel that, that he is a unit. A unit of badass, I guess. Measurement. I don't want him to die though, so I'm, I am going to pull him out of there. Oh, come on, get out of there. Jeez, he's like crazy interested in fighting to the point where he'll just die. Like he just gives no cruds. Zero Fs. So <laughs> you got to get him out of there or he'll kill himself. He's nearly to 10 though, which is perfect. Skeleton Knights, skeletons come from the bottom. Fallen Knights, Spectral Knights come from over here. I'm going to send Ignis in here. Yeah, and I've got a Rain of Fire if I need it to soften up the Skelly Knights. But let's let's upgrade this a little bit. We should probably splash these guys apart pretty effectively at this point. So we'll, we'll see if these these uh, artillery pieces can just blow the skeletons to pieces. And I'm going to watch um, his health to try and keep him from... Oh, he just got to 10. So max level Ignis is 670, 32 to 53 damage. No armor, unfortunately. But yeah, he's a total badass now. The das. That's what we say. But the cool kids. Skeletons are going down really hard. Um, let me pull it back, and I'm gonna bring down the rain of fire. Let's convert these knights, these fallen knights, to spectral knights. Well, we're converting them. Like a religious conversion, you know. No one wants to be pestered by it. No one wants to get converted, but sometimes you gotta convert people. <laughs> If you really want to help them. Uh, all right, let's get these archers upgraded here. Mage tower. Yeah. We're kind of kicking butt now. Let's send Ignis in over here. Jack these guys up. These skeleton knights are tough, man. Dang, those guys are giving us all we can handle. Well, let me get Ignis out of there. Oh, God, he nearly bought it. Holy crud. I'll have him heal. And then we'll... we'll Rush him in here. There we go. Look at that. And then we'll send him in here. Boy. Yeah, these towers are beefy. Look at them just tearing those ghosts apart. Ghosts have no chance. Tearing them apart. Ignis is just roasting these guys. Even the knights are no match for Ignis. Get him out of there. Nearly died. Again. More Fallen Knights. Fallen Knights, Spectral Knights, Spectral Knights. This is the final wave. Gosh, I'm not even sure where I should put my money. Um, get him in there. Yeah, uh... I don't rightly know what, like, the... Oh, here, actually, we need him up here. Perfect. That was a lot of conversion. We converted a lot of people today. <laughs> um, oh, uh, that, that probably wasn't smart. Those guys are totally immune to that artillery, so... I don't always do the most brilliant thing. But we are withdrawing our boy out of there right now. Fire and brimstone. 
yeah, let's um let's take these guys out here as best we can. Let's get some more mage towers going. And again, I'm gonna have um, Ignis fight at the front here. These mage towers are tearing these guys up pretty good. So we just fight the whatever the forward wave is is where we are. Um, bear in mind these dang ghosts can really jack up. Uh, here, let's bring that down. Bring some ghosts here. You got to be careful because the, the um, ghosts b b bolster the fallen knights, so that can be a bit of a trick. But you see these mage towers just ripping those things apart right now. Oh, there is. Oh, I gotta take out the knight though. The knight will walk through. The knight is not a softy. He can survive the mage towers, but the ghosts cannot survive them. There we go. I think this is it. We crushed that. That was so good. So good. Look at just boom, boom, boom. No chance. No chance. Need an Ignis in. Let's convert him. We've converted him to our way of thinking. He now thinks as we do. Yes. If you watched, thank you. I hope that looked easy, because that is the right way to do it. And, and like, just any sort of, like, that's not like a specific, like, exactly this tower. I like that format because it's just kind of fun. You can just kind of, but just follow that general strategy. Use Ignis or at least a guy like him that can just do insane damage. But, yeah. Uh, take care. Cash. Cash the thing.